welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. Um, this is beer two of three, courtesy of Drink New York Craft and Buried Acorn. It's part of that. Um, if you want to go back and watch my unboxing of this, this be the Soto Berry from Berry Acorn that I got from Drink New York Craft. Drink New York Craft. I'll put the info down below. But like I said, the best thing to go back is go to the unboxing. I'll link it down below and see all the info about what they do. Basically, it's kind of like a um, uh, cultivated kind of um, brewery, New York brewery centric um, beer delivery service to your house. It's not New York based um, or New York only um, ordering service. You can order it in multiple different states it's just all new york centric beers they sent me out three beers from buried acorn the first one was a barrel aged porter i went with the most simplest one um now i might be going with the most kookiest one i don't know it's a tie between this one and the other one um but yeah we're gonna dive into it right now what do we have here we have soto berry okay fair enough a uh, soto berry not soto berry soto berry and it's a smoke lager okay age in texas soto barrel no idea what that was until I got this. I looked it up. It's kind of like somewhere, it's like agave adjacent kind of um, stuff, but not as, I forget the words they use. But anyway, we'll reserve judgment for the review. Blended with blackberries and elderberries. Okay, smoked lager. So it'll essentially tequila adjacent kind of liquor with berries and Ghoster Blanc. At first I didn't know what that was, but that's actually a beer from... Berry to Acorn. It's a mixed farm beer that is wine barrel aged. So we have a lot of stuff going on in a smoked lager, which you think smoked lager, you think simple, basic, not too crazy. Well, I guess Tim up there at Berry to Acorn can't be simple <laughs> when it comes to uh, a smoked lager, at least. So let's dive into this sucker and see where it goes. There's so many moving parts to this beer. Um, I can't begin to tell you about my thought process of whether or not I am going to... What I'm going to think about the beer, just in general. It just seems like a pretty kooky kind of combination. So we'll throw that sucker there and see what's what. Uh, does that look like a smoked lager aged in soda berries, soda berries with a bunch of berries and then a mixed with a mixed firm beer sure fine whatever uh has that nice head on it um especially when you have so many moving parts blended beers all kinds of stuff going on definitely looks really nice it has this nice kind of tight taut kind of white head to it um and it just has this kind of kind of like a murky so it looked like an unfiltered lager let's put it that way but there is that tinge of that berry in there so you get a coloration and this little bit outside what you normally get from a grain bill so it just has that little bit of a reddish hue to it very slight but definitely present soft carbonation to it so yeah looks looks appealing let's see if we can get a nose on it There's a lot going on here. It's definitely a smoky beer. Um, it smells like relatively high BV. You think that might be a little bit of residual sugar or perceptional sweetness um, from, you know, spirit, from fruit, from all those things going on. It smells high BV. Now, I did look up their their um, their uh, Ghoster Blanc. Uh, that was like five and change. This beer actually came with no EBV on it. But you're getting this smokiness. It's not like um like a flabby, fatty, kielbasi a la Schlenkler kind of smokiness. It's a little bit more kind of like straight smoky, fiery kind of smokiness, but nothing too crazy over the top. The fruit actually is probably the biggest portion of the show here. Gobs and gobs of just those rich kind of reddish kind of fruity fruit to it. Soft like perception of maybe we'll get in this nice soft acidity to it, like a pH balance kind of acidity. The, the kind of acidity I really dig when it's like kind of like perfect in tune with your body. And outside of that, vanilla. I mean, there seems to be a decent amount of, like, vanilla here. I assume that's coming from several iterations of barrel, from the wine barrel, from the Ghoster Blanc, moving over to the Soderol barrels. I think that's it. Now, if you're going to tell me, okay, you're getting a kind of big spirit off of it, not really. Um, but, again, I don't, I couldn't tell you what Soderol tastes like or smells like. So, it could be a fruity thing like those elderberries, but and it's just being propped up by those. But it smells like a nice, it smells, what it smells like is not necessarily a smoked lager. It smells like a nice mixed firm, like a New England style Saison with fruit. That's what it's, but there's that smoky component to it. So, yeah, a lot going on here. Let's dive in. Cheers, y'all.
I have to be careful about this. This is the kind of beer that sometimes I'm allergic to. I mean, step back from all these ingredients. First and foremost, step back. Is it a tasty beverage? Absolutely. It really does remind me, and it doesn't taste like exactly like that, but the way the acidity on this is coming off and the way the sweetness is kind of bouncing off of that, very much kind of like New Glarus, their Belgian red, cherry red, that, that really Jolly Rancher kind of vibe to it. That's what I'm getting here. So I'm getting this big kind of Jolly Rancher vibe. But you have this super drying component in it. I think it's the spirit in combination with a ton of wood. I mean, again, the Gooster Blanc is a wine barrel aged mixed firm beer. That's going to add a bunch of tannic kind of qualities to it. So it has that big pop of that berry fruitiness, that Jolly Rancher fruitiness. But then it's kind of pulled back by this really dry, oaky spirit kind of burn off kind of thing in a very fun way it's not a hot beer it doesn't sizzle or anything like that it's got to be low abv i think it's higher than five and a half i think we're probably pushing into mid to high sixes here but yeah there's so much going on here the biggest negative to me and I gotta mention it because it's there, but it's not that big, so I'm not gonna get too bothered with it. And honestly, if I kind of pop this top off here um, and let it breathe a little bit, I think we'd be golden. So there's a slight um, latex banana, uh, band aid phenolic in it that you can get a lot of times with your mixed firm stuff, sometimes lager stuff, stuff like that. I think if you let this breathe, that's gonna go away completely, but I figured I'd mention it. That's the biggest kind of nitpick I can pull out of it. Outside of it, it's a very weird beer. Very weird beer, very complicated beer, very. Weird. Weird is probably the best way I could put it. So yeah. And and, and maybe the weirdest part is, is that there's still that smoke character to it. You can tell there's a smoke to it. I would never ever call this a, like a truly a smoked beer. Um, even though that's probably what the base is of the beer. You get a little bit of smoky action from it. And again, even the lager portion of the show here is a little bit kind of a stretch because uh, the way I think about beers, I think about beers the way I think about ingredients on um, something I buy. The first, the the beginning words are kind of the, the ingredients or the descriptors that start at the beginning is what the beer is most of. Does that make any sense? So smoke lager, I expect to be smoke lager thrown it through. Age in Texas, soldal barrels, don't know what they taste like. Blended with blackberries and little berries and ghoster block. To me, if I was going to rewrite this label, I would be like, this is a uh, a blended a blackberry and elderberry ale or lager blended with ghoster blanc aged in soda barrels in smoke lager. Like, smoke lager would kind of come last on that sense. But I think it's a fun beer. It's a fun beer. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and say this is the end-all, be-all of beer. Um, you know, this is like one of the best and kind of blended, mixed, firm, crazy, bonkers, off-the-wall kind of beer I've ever had. I think it's very, very delicious. Very, very tasty. I'm absolutely jazzed that I got to try it. But the one thing that holds me back in, from getting so gaga for these beers is my absolute fear of it causing something to snap in me allergy wise you know i know a lot of fooder based um uh, beers nowadays from specific breweries can just make me have a, a histamine kind of reaction thing um that is not pleasant so it, it, it's it's really hard for me to kind of judge on these beers or not judge but talk about whether i like them a lot or not because i'm really hesitant kind of holding back whether this kind of allergic reaction is going to happen to me um, but if I kind of strip it down to its bare bones, which is what I tried to do kind of at the get, which is not really call it by its title and its ingredients, and whether it's a tasty beer, absolutely. 100% tasty. A fruit forward mixed fermentation beer definitely has those wine characteristics. Fruit is forward on there. Um, definitely has that kind of little smoky kind of uh, uh, lager fluttering under below, but it's trumped by that fruitiness. And what I assume is a cool spirit. Again, I don't know what it tastes like. I can't really uh, kind of pull that out of here and be like, yeah, I can definitely get that soul. I, I have no idea what that tastes like. 
is it is it is it something that uh, lended itself very positively to this beer? The spirit, I don't know. The barrel, 100%, with the way the vanilla comes off and the way that oakiness kind of tempers a bit of that sweetness, a la what hops would typically do. It's just a really, really fun beer. A kooky beer, a wonky beer, uh, a, a nutso beer, a six and sevens beer. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely fun, and I'm glad I got to try it. Super cool. I could see people going absolutely bonkers for this beer. That's probably the best way I could put it, is that... I don't know if I would ever go 100% bonkers for this beer, but I know a lot of, like, maybe, like, the Lambic Nerd crowd, the Mixed Firm crowd, I could see them going 100% bonkers for that beer. Well, I do dig it on those beers, and I'm pretty sure I can tell when there's a really good one in front of me. It's not necessarily my favorite style, but I can absolutely sit here and say, I think there's a... I know people that if I opened this in front of them and gave it to them, they would absolutely love it. So take that for what it's worth. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about it. It's one of the better... Smoked lagers? No, it's not that. I'm just going to say fruited mixed firm beer, because that's kind of what it comes off to me. Barrel aged firm beer, and barrel aged mixed firm beer, fruited firm beer, I don't know. In all those, it's definitely in the conversation. Is it Mount Rushmore status? Depending on how you want to twist that wording, it can be, it might be, but it's it's definitely tasty, and I'm glad I got to try it. Value and availability, I think, again, this is kind of like a, um, what do they call them, society-only releases, but I think this... Drink New York Craft opens that up to you, uh, gives you the ability to get those beers when you typically wouldn't. So I don't know what the pricing would be. If somebody knows, please put it down there. Because I know that the New York Drink Craft, when they sent me this, they kind of talked about it like it's like 69 bucks for the, the month, but then you get 12 beers. But there were like 12 cans, but they sent me three bottles. So there is some kind of cultivation variance you can do there. So again, talk to them and uh and leave you with if you like what will you like this like i said if you're a lambic nerd mixed firm nerd like those kind of beers yeah i think you really dig in this you're not looking for enamel ripping sour you like that nice mixed firm with fruit and cool components going on then you would dig this <sighs> berry acorn have you been to the brewery have you had the beers i really want to know what you think of this beer if you've had it please 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 down below let me know what you thought uh hopefully you enjoyed the review uh hopefully you're enjoying some Super cool weird beer right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers, y'all.